1903, Thomas Edison conducted electrocution experiments on animals using high voltage alternating current. Edison was attempting to convey the dangers of this new current to the public. In the late 19th century, the prevailing electrical system in the US was based on the direct current research he himself had spearheaded. So why is AC now used in homes around the world? Scientists such as Nikola Tesla found that AC's advantage lies in its ease of manipulation and voltage regulation. AC is preferred for long distance power transmissions due to its economic and efficient nature, which is achieved by increasing voltage to reduce current and losses. Companies such as Westinghouse Electric started investing in AC electricity, putting pressure on Edison. AC transmission systems soon spread throughout the United States, were introduced to Europe, and ultimately drove the global commercialization of electricity. Global annual electricity generation now exceeds 28 trillion kilowatt hours. This energy travels over long distances, spanning tens or hundreds of kilometers to power roads, stores, homes, and more. While everyone enjoys the tremendous value of electricity, there is one common device that often goes unnoticed, the power supply unit, or PSU. PSUs are essential. They serve as an intermediary between the power grid and your device. PSUs have gone through many iterations over the years to continue achieving ever greater levels of power. From smartphones to electric vehicles, nearly all modern devices depend on DC. A PSU converts incoming AC into DC, thereby providing a consistent power level for the device. The only device in your PC that connects to almost every other component aside from the motherboard is the power supply. Its main task is to use rectification and voltage transformation to convert high voltage AC into low voltage DC. However, this is only the basic operation of a PSU. With some tasks, such as high definition gaming, PSUs are pushed to their limits and begin to show their true power. Just six years ago, the maximum power consumption of a 1080 Ti graphics card was 250 watts. Today's high-end 30 and 40 series graphics cards have surged to 450 watts, and sometimes higher during peak operation. Not even counting for other system components, a 600 watt power supply might be insufficient for a modern PC. Furthermore, small form factor motherboards and case sizes require smaller PSUs. As such, much pressure falls on the PSU. It must have high maximum wattage, a compact size, and exceptional efficiency all at the same time. To take PSUs even further, their design must continue to evolve. This starts with architecture. The core working principle of a PC power supply is to modulate voltage and transfer energy by continuously switching on and off. It's similar to how you can't release floodwaters all at once. You need to open the gates gradually and provide a continuous water supply to prevent flooding. There used to be a circuit design known as two-switch forward converter that dominated the PSU industry. The two-switch forward converter innovated the industry by using two switch transistors instead of one. It allowed for higher voltages, reducing the pressure on each individual switch and thereby increasing overall power output. PSUs employing this design can handle higher power output without increasing their size. However, this advantage didn't last long as conversion and efficiency soon became evident. PSUs with two switch forward converter design often merely receive a bronze efficiency certification. At this efficiency level, if a PSU has a rated power output of 600 watts, it requires approximately 732 watts of power input at full load. With such losses, higher PSU power results in greater and greater electricity consumption. Manufacturers have since turned their focus to the full bridge LLC resonant converter. Achieving high power output and a compact size requires high switching frequencies, which usually leads to increased switching losses. Overcoming this dilemma with more than 90% efficiency, the full bridge LLC circuit has become a leading design for high power PSUs. The main benefit of a full bridge LLC resonant converter is more switches. It has doubled the switches of a double-ended forward converter. More switches equal more benefits. Let's compare. In a conventional circuit, there are losses when the switch is disconnected. Meanwhile, the full bridge LLC design relies on a zero voltage switching method to reduce losses. Although this process is not solely dependent on individual switches, the full bridge LLC circuit effectively reduces primary switch losses, mitigating the issues that are usually present in high power density power supply designs. Apart from an exceptional topological design, a good PSU should also include cleverly integrated components and strategies to mitigate overheating. Coolermaster's VSFX Platinum relies on a full bridge LLC architecture to deliver up to 1300 watts in a compact 10 centimeter size. 
Meanwhile, the VSFX Platinum can support powerful 40 series GPUs while maintaining 94% efficiency. Additionally, with independently distributed chip placement and a small fan, heat is silently kept below 50 degrees Celsius. As you can see, a good PSU is vital for a healthy, powerful PC. You might even consider the PSU to be the beating heart inside your PC.